was it? It's nice Hi. to meet you. Uh, I wanted to first ask, uh, had you read the book before seeing the film? It's the only time I've ever done a film um, which is based on a book and not read the book, actually, because I... I, I it was good, it was really the, the, the screenplay was so complete and I knew that it was, it was actually sort of more than one book I think has gone into this first screenplay, there's another one and it's funny, I, I, I'm, I can't quite explain it, usually I'm sort of, I have the book sort of in my pocket the whole time when I'm making, you know, Pride and Prejudice or Gone Girl or Barney's version, but not with this one. And a lot of characters go through a journey in terms of discovering happiness and searching for happiness. Did your understanding of happiness change while you are making the film? I think it sort of cemented uh, uh, what I sort of fundamentally believe is that, you know, the pursuit of happiness on its own is futile. You, you kind of have to embrace life in all its chaos and you have to have, you have to have everything. It's, it's sort of happiness is only valuable when it's in opposition to all the other stuff. You know, life is chaotic and, and the great moments, you know, have to be counterbalanced by something. And I, I suppose I've always sort of, or I've grown to understand that as I've got older. <laughs> Okay, to have some moments that aren't sort of pure ecstasy. I also wanted to ask, did you keep anything from the set of this one? And do you do that with any, of, with, with all of your films? I do. I'm quite sort of. I do have a sort of archive, um, but sometimes it ranges from sort of a, a hotel key that the character used. You know, I know I've got a the key to my room in the Ice Palace from the James Bond film. I've got my sword. I've got some boots that Miranda Frost wore. I've got shoes. Shoes usually a pair of shoes from every character. Um, Yes, diaries, any letters that appear in the film. I do have quite a nice little archive. I've never really sort of uh, catalogued it, but one day I will. You mentioned Gone Girl earlier. I mean, have you seen the film yet? And what was it like working with David Finch and Ben Affleck? I want to talk to you about this, but I, I'm, not, I'm not allowed to talk about this. I will in about a month. I'll be able to answer all those questions. I'll hold you to that. Yeah, you yeah, know, you can, you can. Thank you. Enjoy your premiere.